Hi everyone, Jeremy here from Vigito Studio. Today I'm showing you how to get the most out of the value counter pack. This pack contains 50 titles across 5 categories. It's the perfect set of tools to help you display any value you want on screen. You can easily add value before and after the counter to customize it exactly the way you need. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Once you've downloaded the pack, you will get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the TRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work. So simply select all the font and double click on them to start the installation process. Then you can go to the TRFX file and double click on it to start the installation in DaVinci Resolve. So here, select simply install and then you can go over to DaVinci Resolve. Once on the edit page of DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, Titles, Video to Studio, and then here you can scroll all the way down to Value Counter Pack. Here you will find five categories. We have bars, cards, circles, miscellaneous, and text. So as I mentioned, we have five different categories. So we have the bar category with 10 different titles in it. Then we have the cards with 10 different titles to help you display also all sort of data, but they are a bit more specific. For example, we have stuff for the weather, we have stuff to display a product. Um, there is a lot of things that you can do with those. After that, we got circles. So it's basically generally the same kind of a design with a circle that is representing the counter value that is in the center of that circle. Then we have the miscellaneous category with 10 titles as well. That is basically a bunch of diverse title that we didn't know how to categorize. You got some callouts, you got some field icon, you got some stuff for social media as well. And lastly, we got the text based one, which is basically focused mostly on text, but also can share some uh, similarity to other of the categories. So right now let's start and use one. So for example, let's start here with bar concern number eight, which is gonna take it and drag it here to all timeline. Now let's play it. As you can see, everything is working fine. I'm getting 30 FPS playback, but maybe that's not gonna be the case for you. If you're running into any issue in terms of playback, just go over to playback, run the cache, and then here select smart. That will just bring that red bar right above your title, and that's just gonna cache the title. When the bar turned blue, that means the title has been cached in, and you'll be able to play it with real-time playback if that wasn't the case in the first place. Now let's move over to the inspector and see the functionality for this title. So first off, we have the animation in length. Right now, the animation, as you can see when we're playing, is about two seconds, but we can reduce that to one second if we want. And now the animation will be one second long. You can adjust that to any value you want, ranging from a half a second all the way to 10 seconds. Then we have the animation type. Right now, when we're playing it, as you can see, we have the animation coming as a slide up. You can choose to have it as no animation at all, zoom in, zoom out, pan left, pan right, slide up, slide down, or fade in. Right now, if I select zoom in, for example, we will have a zoom in animation instead. You can choose that for the animation in, as well as the animation out. Now, the core functionality of those value counter are the prefix, suffix, starting number, and final number. Basically, you're setting up your starting number and your final number, and it's gonna count from that number to that number and then you can add any prefix or suffix that you want after that, depending on if you want to display, for example, if you want to display a dollar at the beginning, or if you wish to display a minus, or if you want to have, for example, here instead of the text, you can display a percentage. This is what's gonna give you basically control over the counter. By default, the counter will add a comma once we pass a thousand. So if you don't want to have that comma displayed, for example, you only want to have the counter uh, displaying the beginning numbers, what you can do is, for example, here, deleting the prefix, and then here for the suffix, having uh, you know a bunch of uh, zero or whatever number you want to display. And then here, you can select for example, 23. Another counting will only affect the beginning of the number being displayed. At any moment, if you wish to reset a parameter to the default parameter, you can just double click on any value to reset it to the default value. And now for the visual of the counter, you will generally have here a bar scale or a circle scale that will allow you to basically adjust the length of that bar or that circle. So here in the case of the bar scale, right now it's at 60%. So basically right now 0.6 uh, represents 60%. And you can adjust this so right now that will be for example, 30% or that will be 35%. If I'm at 35, 
uh, so on and so forth. So we can use that to kind of match the value being displayed on screen. In this case, it's going to be about, for example, 0, 07. Here we go. Now you have all the other usual parameters where you can adjust the size and position. So here, for example, you can easily displace it and you can increase or decrease the size as you wish. You also have control over the bar in terms of the corner radius, the height, the color. Look, right now we have a gradient, but you can change that gradient or you can bring back that bar to any other color you like. For example, here we can turn part of that bar to red and the other one into blue. Also here we have an icon loader right now by default it's that uh, foot but we can add any logo we want so right now I can just broth and then bring for example here that flame can just load that in and now we've replaced uh, the logo with whatever we want so you can go in a place like PNG repo and just download any PNG icon or logo that you want and just add that instead there is a lot of logo loader in this pack that you can use to really customize it to the extent that you want then we have the counter itself which is this one right here uh, we can also make some modification to the shading for example if we want here we can add some text border or we can add some text outline uh, very easily also some background so here you can just use that to add some background uh, increase here for example the vertical or the horizontal to make it match your text you can adjust the corner radius to make it match what we have here with that bar and that can help you uh, make the text pop more. If your footage is a bit busy and it's hard to read uh, the text, that can really help you make the text pop more. And you can obviously, you know, for example, here displace it and bring it slightly above to give the space here for the logo, for example. And then lastly here, we have the remaining text. Uh, in this case here, that's gonna be the steps. You can easily replace that to whatever you want. You can change the font, you can change the size, tracking, line spacing, position, etc. Now, as I mentioned, they all share very uh, similar functionality. For example, here, if we bring that title that is completely different, that title card, as you can see, you can find the same element everywhere. The only thing that can just uh, be different might be the naming for the individual element that you can customize, but otherwise the principles are staying the same and you can just adjust it exactly how you want it. Also, as I've mentioned earlier about the loader, we have a lot of titles that use a loader. For example, here, the icon, again, you can change that to any icon you want. So here, if you want to replace it with a flame, for example, you can do that very easily and then simply resize it for it to fit your composition. Most of the controls are made to display one data, but you can actually use them to create your own card. So for example, here, you can start to stack them uh, with each other if you need to display more than one data. So here, for example, I'm gonna just copy it and drag it here to my timeline right above the same title. And then we can simply displace the position of that title and then I can be doing the same thing once again and displace it on the other side and that way you can easily display three value at the same time if you need to compare uh, some value with one another. That's the easiest way to do some value comparison, but there is a few that are actually built in uh, to compare to value. For example, those two circles, if I drag them here, as you can see, uh, we have two circle that can help you just uh, making a visual comparison between two value to display that there is one value bigger than another. We also have, for example, that circle ring that just helps you displaying three value maximum at the same time. And you can choose that value console. And if you want to display only one value, you can do that two value or three value. In the back, you can also find a few callouts that can point directly at something specific on screen and display a value accordingly. But again, as you've seen, it's just a matter of just design differences and the style and look, etc. But they actually all work in a similar fashion. So just play around with those and see what fits better your project. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transitions, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.